When I set up a mouse enclosure, I really like to think about that particular mouse's natural environment. So I thought I'd give you a tour of my Spinifex Hopping Mouse enclosure because I've just created a new setup for them. When I think about the Spinifex Hopping Mouse, I think about the fact that they come from very arid areas of Australia. So things like sandy flats, but essentially really dry, really hot areas. So firstly, it's really important that they have a nice warm enclosure. So I do have a heat mat on the bottom of the enclosure. I just have it at one end though, because here in Australia, it does get hot. Sometimes I find that during the summer months, for example, they like to go up to the cooler end of the enclosure. But now that we're moving into winter, it does get colder at night. So I do find that they migrate to the other end. And this enclosure, although you can't really tell from the footage is actually a really big reptile tank so loads of space for these guys at the moment we have well we did have six spinifex hopping mice and they have just had a new baby which is very very cute sadly his sibling did pass away so i was really sad about that uh, but we have one very healthy healthy baby so i just want to tell you my reasons for choosing certain things so you can see this substrate that I have there is a, a coarse grade cocoa choir. So it's still very spongy and soft, not like wood chips. But one of the main reasons is that I've been doing lots and lots of reading of various scientific articles at the moment around bedding and mice. And one of the things that I've learned from those articles is that larger particle size bedding is a healthier option for the respiratory system for mouse than say the much smaller particle sizes. Cocoa Quiet is a really absorbent type of bedding. Now with Spinifex Hopping Mice, it's not such an issue because they have solid wee. So there's not high levels of ammonia in their enclosure, but with a house mouse, for example, you need something extremely absorbent because ammonia can cause ammonia burns and also respiratory system problems. Spinifex Hoppy Mice dig. They love to dig. Look at those big hind legs. They are so powerful. So I give them a really nice deep layer. So you'll notice just coming out of one of the hides there, they've got some cocoa choir fiber. So again, a really natural thing for them, but it allows them to weave that longer uh, material through the cocoa choir in order to sustain and hold up the tunnels that they build. I've sprinkled dry leaves all around the floor of the enclosure for those different textures that make it really interesting for them and also mimic their natural environment. I actually bought these leaves from a reptile store. I have before also collected my own leaves and then dried them in the oven to make sure they're sanitized. But you need to be really careful that they don't still hold things like mites because you don't want to bring a mite infestation into the enclosure. I added in a couple of pots of grass, which you can see they absolutely adore because naturally they live in areas of spinifex grass, which is where they get their name from. And wrapped around the base of those pots, I've just put some of the cocoa choir fibre. That fibre is really warm and it is very, very natural. So it's a really good form of insulated bedding for them. It's taken me a really long time to build trust with these guys. So I've made sure I've got lots of hides around the enclosure and also lots of areas that they can hop up to and do some climbing because even though they're not as agile climbers as say a house mouse they still do love to hop and climb around the enclosure inside the hides i've got some tissue and also the cocoa choir fiber in the back corner i've got a reptile net there's also some chews coming off of that and then also a chew toy with a bell hanging off the edge and some bridges for them to go under and over. 